Hi, Sebastian. Hello. Um, so today we're going to test your S22. Exactly. Uh, so what happened to the motor so far? So like two weeks ago, uh, when I went out to start riding, I got this clicking noise that went faster while I accelerated. Uh, went up and down the street once, yeah. and then I put it down. Uh, 10 minutes later, when I rode again, the sound was gone. Uh, I went out for a ride for 27 kilometers, riding as usual in like 50, 60 kilometers per hour. Got home, no issue. Uh, late at night, I decided, okay, I'm not gonna ride this until I've tested it. Mm -hmm. So I've been chilling for like two weeks, and uh, now we're here. Yeah. I've ridden it for like 2,400 kilometers. 2,400? Yeah, no, no issue. So the type of noise that you heard, was that a clicking sound? Was that a knocking sound? Was it a scraping sound? Like, what, what would you describe? No scraping. Didn't sound very metallic. Mm. More of a clicking sound. Clicking sound. Yeah. And was the sound accelerating as you were riding faster? Exactly. Like at every rotation it was doing clock. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So something within the wheel, while the wheel was spinning, mm -hmm. caused it. Your motor is from May? Yeah, it's an early batch. Yeah. The motor that I had on my wheel that turned out to be difficult was also from May. Mm -hmm. We didn't have the same sound. I had the scraping sound. Okay. And uh, the scraping sound was due to the phase wire of the motors rubbing on the inside of the motor, the, the motor cover. Okay. And then it created a short that shorted the main board and it oh. burned the board and the motor was tossed. Okay, okay. But your sound is different. Uh, your sound has been identified with the bearings not being fully aligned mm. with the side cover and with the motor uh, kind of axle. Okay, okay. And uh, then, you know, they, lo they look a little bit bent like that with the some angle and then it makes a sound because maybe something moves a little bit at each rotation. Yeah. And make this, makes this sound like that. So it might have just popped back to a right position and the sound went away. Yeah, so... Hopefully. It's just... It's something. possible to do. The, the thing is that for some it lasts, but for most it doesn't last. Because the sound comes from bad tolerances between the different elements. The side cover, the bearing and the, the motor hub. So what created the issue in the first place? Uh, create the issue again, and then you're back to square one. So maybe every two weeks you'll be tapping your... Uh, My bearing. Your bearing. Okay. <laughs> not ideal. And uh, there's also a risk. It's not very high, but for a wheel in Russia, uh, this misalignment of the bearing created some stress on the, on the motor hub. Mm -hmm. And the stress ended up cracking uh, the motor uh, itself oh. uh, near the motor hub. And that was making the sound even worse. But then, uh, you know, it's, it's, now it's risky. You really have to replace the motor. Yeah. The new um, motors, they have a different size bearing okay. also. And they're labeled KS S22, the side covers. So that's also for different size. So it's really different motors at that point. Okay. They, don't, they have the, the pins that prevent the stator to rotate, but they also have different covers and different bearings. So I thought that your motor maybe had the same issue as mine. Yeah. Because it comes from the same batch. Exactly. At least, I don't know if there's really batches, but it was made kind of at the same time. But maybe the motor is just fine because you had 2,500 kilometers without, without issue. Yeah. And I've done a lot of jumping and riding, uh, so it's been kind of stress tested, yeah. but not with this kind of momentum, I guess. Right. But in most cases, your motor will have to be replaced anyway, or at least several components of your motor. So yeah. you better test it. Okay. Do you have any questions about how to uh, run the test? So do I have to make it spin to max speed or just... Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll try my best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, be careful that not everything is wiggling. If you're tired, we take a break uh, because it's very physically demanding. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> like that? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. So did you do it uh, forward or backward? I'm going forward. Forward. Okay. Uh, so every time forward. Yeah. 
every time. So I'm just gonna bend my knees and pull it back. Yeah. And oh yeah, last question. Yeah. Are you in hard mode? Uh, medium. Medium. Let's set it to hard mode. Okay. There might be a little bit more stress in uh, in hard mode because he will try to restore balance like as as hard as possible. So now you're in hard mode. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> You're doing very well. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> so let's take a little break. Huh? Um, are you getting tired already? How, how is it going? Kind of a bit uh, flustered. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can smell the burn rubber. Yeah, me too. <laughs> For sure. It's, it's, it's getting cleaned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can let the tire spin a bit longer so it turns slightly oh. faster. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Time for a break. Little break, yeah. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> you have protective equipment that's warm. <laughs> Let's see if there's any sound already. Okay, just. Yeah. So it's, it's away, but uh, there's no sound. It's all good. S smooth and quiet. Yeah. Nice and skid marks. Yeah, yeah. No sound, no abnormal sound. Nothing. Yeah. So I, I felt like the five last one were more speed, more powered downwards. Yeah, and they like five easier one before. Yeah. So the same for five or 10 more. Yeah, and like with Tobias Tess, we actually didn't count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just get started. <laughs> and <laughs> But uh, you're already at, at least at 10. Yeah, yeah exactly. The Clark pads have started to hurt my, my feet. It gets harder and harder, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, almost dropped it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. You want to try? Yeah, I want to try one. Yeah, for, for sure. I'm tired and hurting my feet. So a difference we have with this wheel compared to Tobias wheel last time yeah. is that you have the Clark pads, which are 40 or 45 millimeter uh, wide. Okay. And uh, he had the Grizzler pads, which are 60 millimeter wide. Okay. So it's just easier because you don't have to squeeze as much. Yeah, and these are really pointy. So it's like one pressure point yeah. on top of the bone in my foot. It's not very comfortable. No, not at all. So uh, a tip to make this test easier is to have as wide pads as possible. Something more even pressure on the foot. Yeah, yeah you know, I'm used, uh, I'm used to pads that are so much wider, the 70 millimeter. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not even sure I can raise that <laughs> one. <laughs> Oh, that's difficult. <laughs> yeah, you can't really. Woo, cool. Yeah, okay. Yeah, backwards you get more smoke in the front. <laughs> <laughs> it's also easier with um, Clark pads because you raise the wheel with uh, foot lock in. Yeah. And then you just lift uh, without making uh, effort with your legs. Yeah. For me, with my. 
cool. For me, with my boots, I get the heel lock also. So it's easy just to bend my knees and oh, get it forward. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the reason is I don't have uh, high shoes. Uh, actually, it's, it's easier than I thought. Okay. It's not that hard. Yeah, do it 15 times yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll do like a couple more. Yeah. I was doing it in the in the other direction though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know Might if it's counterproductive. Might have been good to get something loose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I can try going backwards also. <laughs> Did you hear that? Kinda, yeah, something. Yeah. Let's tr let's check right now. No need for an extra test, I think. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna ride. No, 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 no. What do you wanna? Don't ride anymore. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> the best is to turn the wheel off. Okay. And um, because now with what happened here, the scraping sound is, is the same as the scraping sound that was on my wheel. Okay. Just before the motor burn. Yeah. So if we, if we make it spin now, it could burn the board. Yeah. So you have to replace the board and the motor. And uh, depending on availability, it might just take you no longer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow, <laughs> <laughs> I thought they would pass. So yeah, doing yeah. it in one direction, then the other direction, maybe there's something to it. Yeah, exactly, to make something yeah. shake loose. Let's hear it. So there's a really, really easy way to, uh, to test. Okay. So you turn off the wheel. Yeah, I did turn it off and yeah. turn it on. Uh, you can turn it back off. Okay. Yeah, and if we can put it uh, where it was. Back down. Yeah. So now we're gonna listen to the to the wheel and uh, just doing that. Yeah, it's very yeah. easy. And I'm gonna put my mic close to the motor and see if there's any noise. Can you hear that? Yeah, I do. Yes. Yeah, definitely that scraping sound and some resistance. I can feel yeah. it. The wheel is vibrating. Yeah. So the motor is. If you look uh, down dead. here. Oh, the bearing, you can see it's kind of uneven. Yeah. When you spin, it's dark, it gets silver dark. Oh yeah, Th that's the seal. I uh, you know it's okay. kind of a rubber seal on top. Okay. They're never perfectly aligned. Okay. So the, the sound you hear now. Oh, geez, it's a big clunk. Yeah, so. Also. Right there. Yeah. Oh, crap. We're like, Three tries again from saying it's okay. I so, thought uh, I thought it was okay yeah. after you completed your test in one direction, mm -hmm. but then when turning it made something shake loose. Yeah. So maybe we discovered something. Yeah. So we doing it may, uh, maybe 15 times in one direction, then a few times in the other direction. Yeah, I think like it, ten forward with it five back and one or two forward again. Yeah. <sighs> I guess your wheel needs a new motor now. I should have bought the BIOS's wheel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because um, if you saw the video from the previous uh, test, actually uh, his wheel pa passed the test just fine, but uh, he was not confident enough still. And he saw the announcement of the S22 V2 and decided to, to sell it. A bit maybe of a hasty decision uh, in hindsight, <laughs> we don't know. And uh, well, you're gonna get a brand new motor, I guess. Yeah. So, what did you think about the test? Uh, I don't know, I'm torn. <laughs> I was really hoping for it to pass and being able to ride it again because I've been not riding it for a couple of weeks. Yeah. But uh, now I defi definitely shouldn't. So, that's, that's a bummer. And uh, the winter's almost here. I hope I get some new parts before the spring arrives. Yeah. I have my M104 arriving in a week or two, so that's something at least. Oh, uh, good. Yeah, I mean, this would have happened eventually. Yeah. But uh, it's better here between the benches than on the road. It happened really safely. And uh, it didn't happen in a heartbreaking situation. It didn't happen after uh, landing a jump. It didn't happen after two years and, uh, and one month when your warranty is expired. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, um, 
and now I have video to show the reseller, the reseller. Yeah, exactly. And the reseller is Voltride, just like mine. They've been very involved in the support of the community. Very serious uh, to diagnose all this, so you'll have no problem. Okay. Hey, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you for helping me out. And thanks to you uh, who's watching this video and uh, we'll see the results of this test. See you next video. <laughs> Bye.